What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? Happy Friday to all my black truckers. And when I say all, I mean all. Even the box truck drivers. Yeah, they truckers too. They truckers too. Actually, I respect them a lot because they actually sleep in their truck. They hustling. So I respect y'all. I respect y'all. But let's get into this video, man. I was on YouTube, and I don't really be watching a lot of YouTube how I used to watch YouTube. I watch uh, a little, well, every week I watch 5150, Corey Holcomb. That's probably, the only pod, that's probably the only podcast I watch. That's probably the only podcast I watch. Because everybody else these days, a lot of people are tripping, man. So that's really the only podcast thing I watch on YouTube. And I'm starting to watch a lot of, um, well, not a lot, but a lot of trucking channels, too. Because I, I like to see people talking about trucking and a lot of channels for people talking about our people black people the black community but not in a negative way because like i always say people making money off of us bro and they doing it on purpose they they making money from our negativity they making money and it's other black people doing it it's other black people doing it and nine times out of ten, they didn't grow up around, you know, in the hood or in the projects or nothing like that. So it's people, it's people doing it that didn't even grow up around black people. So that should tell you a lot. That should tell you a lot. But I was watching this video, man, and I think the channel is called uh, Mother Trucker. I'm going to put the picture up right here, and I'm going to put the video in the description. It was, it was on Mother Trucker, and this guy... He was talking about, he said he was addicted to lot lizards. I said addicted, but I couldn't judge him. Because look, I don't care if your best friend, your mom, your dad, whatever. Until you live with somebody, you don't know what their addiction is. Everybody has a vice. Everybody has something that they do that they can't stop doing. I don't care who they are. I don't care how perfect they try to act. I don't care how perfect they try to act. Everyone has a vice that they can't stop doing. Or they can stop doing for a little while, but it's right back. Everybody has a vice. But I have to talk to you guys, especially to my new truck drivers, my young truck drivers. And when I say young, I mean like from 23 to like 30. Even to like 31, because that's young too. I need to talk to y'all, man, because when y'all start this trucking game, and you start getting money every week, especially if you stand over the road, you know, you don't, you don't have no bills like that, or you stand with your parents still. Bro, you're you, you gonna start tricking. And I'm, talk, I'm not talking about all of y'all, I'm talking about for the majority, bro, especially to my black men. So this dude said that he was addicted to, addicted to lot lizards, and he started when he was 28 years old, because at 28, he was making six figures. So let's think about trucking. You could be 28, 27. And it's probably some of you watching this video. You could be 28, 27, making six figures already. So when you get all so when you get all that money, what you think, what you think a black man for the most part, what you think a black man is gonna do? Of course he's gonna pay for it. Of course he's gonna pay for it. So this guy, he was paying for, you know, he was paying for the cat. And he talked about how he was addicted and he went broke. He stopped buying himself clothes. He said he was partying every weekend because it was just so easy because he was making so much money. So that's my warning to you young guys who just getting in the game. See, I can talk to the older guys, but a lot of dudes are already doing this and they already made it a habit. So it's going to be hard for them to stop. For my young guys, that's just getting into the trucking game and you start making this money these are not the days to trick see when he was out there you know pretty much it was cool these days no these girls are setting you up you know how many you know how many truckers get set up it was already it was a trucker in uh atlanta on boulder crest it's a pilot on boulder crest if you know about that pilot on boulder crest hey put that in, uh put that in the comment section you know about it it was a truck driver at the Boulder Crest, and he was married. So he got him a sex worker, and guess what happened? They set him up and killed him in his truck. Left him, robbed him, 
and left him in the trunk. A married man. How you think his wife felt? And I know it's cool to be on the road. You got girl here, girl there, girl. I know it's cool when you're young, you got your money, everything's just going good. I'm telling you, it's going good until it's not. These days, they will set you up. And I'm not telling you to go to like go on the road and not, you know, not enjoy yourself, not have fun, but be smart, man. If you don't know these chicks, don't show them where you parked at. Don't show them what hotel you staying at. If you making money, you get a whole different hotel. Cause I know you're young, you still gotta do your thing. But you get a whole different hotel. Don't show them where you stand. Don't show them where your truck. Trust nobody. What Tupac said? Trust no one. Trust no one. And I mean that shit. Cause these days they will set you up. They will set you up, unalive you, and rob you. And feel no way about it. And see, these days, see, back in his day, it was just, you know, you meet girls, you, you go to the truck stop, and most of the lot lizards and stuff like that, I'm gonna say is in the south and certain parts of the south and on the west coast. You know, you got Memphis, uh, you got Texas, uh, you got Arkansas, stuff like that. But these days, I'm barely in the south, but on the west coast, is out there bro it's out there on the northeast i don't know i haven't i haven't i haven't seen it like that but you have i'm telling you don't go these are not the days to do that people are getting set up and then it's holiday season coming up the holidays are coming up bro do you know how it feels to be broke i'm getting close for this one do you know how it feels to be broke when you broke, you don't care about no. For the most part, most people, they don't care about nobody else. They just want to eat. They want to eat. They don't care about your life. And you a truck driver. And what do everybody think? Oh, truck drivers make this. You got a lot of truck drivers who do make money. So they, so, so you a target. And then you black. Okay, if we do something, this, this is how they think. If we do something to him, they won't care. It's just another black man. If we do something to him, it's just another black man. That's how they think. Even your own people can think like that too. That's why I say when you're on this road, don't tell these girls where you stand at. Don't tell them where you parked at. Matter of fact, in my opinion, you should only meet up with girls if it's if you know these chicks. You you got some rapport with them. You've been talking to them. Them the only chicks you should, you know, because I'm telling you, bro, it's real out here. You'll get set up. And this for the guys who, you know, you didn't grow up in the streets. You didn't grow up um, around, you know, gangsters and stuff like that. And somebody, somebody ain't tell you this. Don't think it's all sweet out here, bro. Yeah, she can have a pretty face. She can tell you about her college and all that. But, bro, it's girls who setting dudes up left and right truck drivers all day because they get horny what tupac said every time they get horny they die you get horny it's a funeral that's facts you gotta always think like that i'm from louisiana bro we think everything is set up we think everything is set up a girl called me where you at i'm like what wow man what don't ask me that don't ask me where i'm at we think everything is set up. And I'm not saying live in fear, bro, but you gotta be alert. I don't, I don't care if you got that, you know, you got that thing on you, somebody else got it on them too. So you gotta be, you, you gotta know how to avoid them situations. You know, and see these days, we got dating apps. Back in his day, they ain't have dating apps. We got dating apps. So a lot of dudes, you get on Bumble, you get on Hinge, you get on Tinder, and you just looking for, you know, something that you can get in. I'm telling you, that's how, mm, that's how mother, that's how dudes, black men, end up in their truck, gone. Are you, are you robbed? Are you trying to meet up, are you trying to meet up with a girl at a hotel that you know nothing about? Think about this, bro. I want y'all to watch this video. 
I'm gonna try to watch this video daily to remind you, bro. It can happen to you. You pull up to a different state and you on these apps just trying to meet a girl just to, you know, get one off. That could be the end of your life. That could be the end of your life. I'm not telling y'all to have fun, but be smart, bro. You want to live for a long time. So you got to be smart. You can't let that head dictate your whole life. Like I say, I'm not better than nobody. I done been in my 20s. I'm 34. I done been in my 20s. I done did dumb shit. And I think about it now. I'm like, damn, I'm, I'm just glad I'm still alive to talk about it. These dating apps, bro, be careful. I don't even do that shit no more, bro. I don't even be on these dating apps no more because I'm t times are dangerous. Especially for a black man and a black woman. And I'm going to make a video about them too. Because black women love to meet random dudes. They love to meet. And I'm not saying all black women. But women travel. You know, you travel a lot. Truck drivers, just women who travel. They, they love to meet random men before doing their homework. Do your homework. Times are different now. Somebody will end your life and think nothing of it. Because you black. Oh, okay. They'll blame it on black on black crime. I'm telling you, they think like that. They think like that. But I'm happy. I put my notes down and stuff like that. But I'm happy that uh, old dude that made the video, uh, he got his life back together, man. He got his life back together. And that's the best part of being a man, bro. In my opinion, you can go to the depths of hell. You can go to the depths of hell. And you hit rock bottom and you just get your life back together, bro. You get your life back together. He said he'll regret it because you, you know why he don't regret it? Because it made him who he is today. He know he he, he know what not to do. So I'm giving you younger guys a warning. And when I, like I said, when I say young, I mean 25, you know, you know, in that age where you about to start traveling and stuff like that. I'm just warning y'all before y'all get in this game, bro. Times have changed. These apps, these random girls you're meeting, you will get set up. She checking, she checking everything out about you. Yeah, you might have met her that first time you smashed, nothing happened. But she was just sizing you up. She was sizing you up the whole time. And a lot of times when we young and we, we turn when you young and turnt, you're not thinking, bro. You're not thinking this chick plotting on you. She plotting on you. So I'm just warning y'all. So I know it's the weekend right now. You just started trucking. You probably you probably a month in. You got your money. You feeling good. Hey, bro. Slow down. That's what I'm going to tell you. Slow down. Because you're not trying to get robbed. And you're not trying to end your life right now. Slow down. There's a lot of women out here. Take your time. Take your time. Everybody don't mean well. And when you're young, a, a lot of this stuff, you don't, uh, you know, you got some young dudes that think about it, but for the most part, you don't think in, in like layers. You just see a baddie and you like, damn. Like, that's all you're thinking about. Like, damn. But the whole time, she's sizing you up. This dude was addicted to lot lizards bro and he said he blew all his money he was making six figures he, he said he blew all his money and he had to start over but now he's still he, he an owner operator again he got some more trucks under him and stuff like that so you can you can get your life back but you gotta keep living and like i said about addictions bro everybody has an addiction my my word of advice is do not let your your vice or the addiction you have control your life. If you can't get rid of it, learn how to balance it. Do not let it control your life because I'm telling you, these years go by fast. I remember when I was 24 years old. I'm 34. I be thinking like, damn, I'm six years from 40. I be like, damn. <laughs> so Tom, you young right now, that's cool. That's cool. Enjoy your youth, man. Deal with women of quality. 
deal with women that really are happy to see you around that want nothing from you it's women out here that give you things as men we gotta stop thinking that we gotta give 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 you gotta slow down because there's women out here who, who will give you things you know so enjoy y'all friday man i'm about to enjoy my uh like i say bro enjoy this life enjoy this life life even for my younger guys yeah, you just want to have sex 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 that's cool but it's more to life than sex dog it's more to life than just random sex with these different women i'm telling you it's a different time it's a different day i'm out Thank you.